Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. This is what I'm up to today. So I have here a mold with a hummingbird and hibiscus flowers inside. Then I have a hummingbird keychain mold. It's just one of those keychain molds. And then another hummingbird mold and another and they all three of them are different i'm going to make a piece of hanging wall decor so if you're interested in watching me create that then kick back relax and let's get to it okay so now i have the little hummingbird uh keychains and we're going to start with them and i have some intense chameleon powders here and then i have some of the let's resin chameleon powders so we're going to do this little hummingbird in um, one of the chameleons and one of the uh, powders. The intense chameleons and one of the just regular chameleon powders. And I'm using the champagne color right now. And it's, uh, it's not the chameleon, the intense. It's just the regular chameleon powder. And I'm going to brush in those little raindrops. It looks like raindrops on our hummingbird. I'm going to brush in that with the uh, champagne color, and then I'm going to go in with the um, intense chameleon powder in blue, and we're going to uh, finish the hummingbird out with the blue, but I'm just going to do the little raindrop parts with the champagne first, and then on his little beak, I'm going to do champagne colored as well. And uh, I'm going to do his little head champagne colored. And I'm just going to blend that blue in with it so that it looks like the hummingbird is really that color. If you uh, really blend those colors in, then you can get them to uh, flow nicely next to each other. So that's what we're going to try to do with this hummingbird. Uh now, the next hummingbird I do, I'm going to speed it up and play some light music for you so that it kind of saves on time, but you'll still get to see how I uh, brushed the next one. And right now, I'm just doing the hummingbird's head in that uh, champagne color. It wasn't really nothing to go by there. I just uh, brushed in where I thought I wanted it. It didn't have any lines in there to show me where to uh, brush it in at. I just, you know, stopped where I wanted to. Now I'm taking in that uh, intense chameleon powder color in blue. And I'm just going to go into the areas where I didn't paint the uh, champagne color. And I'm just making sure I blend in around this area where uh, his head is at, where I have that champagne color at. I'm just blending in real good there. And then I just uh, blew on it a little bit to get the excess powder out. And I'm just doing some more blending up here with my brush. Making sure I blend it in really well. Okay, now here he is, getting the edges here, and then I'm going to play some light music for you while I uh, do the other one. Okay, now here he is. Now let's go in and um, do our uh, big hummingbird. 
Now I'm going to leave it uh, sped up here, but I'm going to talk you through this part. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm using that green again and the intense chameleon powder. And I'm not completely uh, filling in those uh, areas with that green. I left some gaps in it. So I can take this black cherry intense chameleon powder and fill in the areas that I didn't get with the uh, green. And then that way I'm going to blend them in together and try to make this hummingbird look, you know, appear to be this color. So right now I'm using the black cherry intense chameleon powder and I'm just dropping it in to the areas where I didn't put the green. And I'm holding this paper towel over here so I don't get this chameleon powder on the other part of the mold because I'm going to have to clean up around the hummingbird. Okay, now I'm almost finished with this hummingbird. Let's go ahead and get his beak. So I'm just going to wrap that paper towel around his beak and I'm going to use the... Uh, the green and finish him off okay now i need to do my cleanup so i'm just taking some q-tips and i have some alcohol on the end of them and i'm just going to run it around in here and clean up my mess <laughs> okay so i have finished cleaning it up so now i'm going to bring out four cups and we're going to color the hibiscus flowers in these colors the green is going to be for the greenery in the flowers. And then we're going to have, it has three hibiscus flowers in the, in the mold. And the rest are uh, the greenery parts of the flower. So we're going to do one hibiscus flower pink, one hibiscus flower orange, and one of them purple. And I wanted to use these um, neon colors because I wanted it, our flowers to be very vibrant. Because our hummingbird is, you know, he's intense, you know. He's got those intense chameleon powders on, he, on him. So, you know, I kind of want to match that theme that we got going on. So, we're going to use the neon colors. And right now, I'm just stirring them up into my cup really good before I drop that resin in there. And we don't need much in these cups because we're just doing these small flowers. And that's it. I just sped up this part because uh, you've you've seen me mix a, a, a hundred times, you know. So, I thought this would be an area I could save time on, you know. And I'm just mixing up those colors because I've dropped the resin into the cup now. So, I'm just getting all of them mixed up really good before we start. Okay, now, I am back in real time. We're not sped up anymore. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drop in some clear resin into our hummingbirds. I didn't want to put black behind them because um, if you was to hang this in like a corner of your house from the ceiling and those birds were turning, I didn't want it to be black on one side and, you know, blue or green on the other I wanted it to be the same color on each side so I went ahead and used clear and I know it's not gonna really showcase what these powders can really do but this is just the look I wanted to go for in the little hummingbirds so I'm gonna push those to the side because we're finished with them and then we're going to do this. Now, you didn't see me paint the mica powder in this one. I don't know how I lost that footage of that one. But I used, um, I didn't use any uh, intense chameleon on this one. I used um, the, uh, yes, I did. I used the gold to color his uh, little rings in him. And then I use the um, gold in the intense chameleon powder. So that's what I use to paint this one.
So I'm going to scoot those to the side over there, and then we're going to work on um, this piece right here. Now I'm going to take this paper towel, and I'm going to drop it over our hummingbird so we don't get any alcohol sprayed in him or anything because we don't want to mess him up. <laughs> and I'm going to spritz a little alcohol in the area that I'm going to work, start working in first, and that's going to be the leaves. And I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to heat up that resin a little bit and pop some of those surface bubbles in that cup. And then I'm going to trade out my popsicle stick for my little uh, uh, dabbing tool. I'm not really sure what the proper name is for that thing. But um, I like to use it to drop resin in uh, small increments. If I'm wanting to drop just a little bit of resin at a time, this is the tool I tend to grab. So I'm just dropping in a little bit of resin into those leaves. And there's on this side, there's two leaves right together. So we're going to go ahead and do those two leaves right here. And then I'm going to scoop my paper towel over and I'm going to spritz a little bit more alcohol onto the mold. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, knock out the greenery on this side of the mold. And I'm just dropping in a little bit of resin at a time because I don't want this resin to uh, leak out into the other part of the mold. I want it to just stay right here in the flowers and the greenery. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit that I had, uh, it dropped out, it ran out of the uh, little section I was uh, putting the resin in. So I'm just cleaning it up a little bit. And I'm making sure the resin is in every part of the leaves over here. So I'm just taking my little dabbing tool and making sure that um, there are no bubbles in it or anything. Now we're going to put the paper towel back on our hummingbird. And I'm going to spritz some more alcohol into the mold. And then I'm just going to toss that paper towel for now. So it doesn't get into the greenery and uh, slip it all through the mold. That would be terrible. <laughs> so I'm just wiping off my little dabbing tool here to get the green off of it. And then we're going to take this orange here. And we're going to go ahead and do our hibiscus flower that's next to the greenery. And we're going to do this one in orange. Isn't that neon orange beautiful? All of these neon colors are beautiful. Now, I got these neon colors off of Amazon. Um, it's They just came in some little, um, some of those small um, Ziploc bags. You know, I didn't get a big quantity of them or anything. I was just trying them out. And this is my first time using them. Now I'm going to clean my little dabbing tool off, and we're going to pick out another color to do our next flower in. Well, no, I must have missed some greenery somewhere. Yep, there's another leaf right here in between uh, this hibiscus flower and the other one. I missed it somehow. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and color that in right quick with some resin. And there is a little bit more greenery right here in between the other hibiscus flower. 
And I'm sure that is all of the greenery. <laughs> This is such a beautiful mold. Beautiful. And I love hummingbirds. That is my very favorite bird. I always put feeders out for them every year. I just love watching them. They are such a beautiful, beautiful bird. Now I'm going to trade out my popsicle stick. And get my little dabbing tool here. I'm just going to heat that resin up and pop some of those surface bubbles in my cup. And then I'm going to grab that paper towel and drop it back over our hummingbird to protect it. And then I'm going to spritz some more alcohol into the area that I'm going to be working in next. Now let's go ahead and drop that purple into our hibiscus flower. This purple is beautiful. I got to tell you, when I was mixing these colors up into the resin, uh, it took me a minute to get these mixed up into the resin. It kept... Uh, I kept finding little chunks of the mica powder in my cup. And uh, really, to be honest, that happens with just about every neon mica powder that I've ever used. They're really hard to get mixed up into resin. If you know of any neon powders that aren't, then drop it in the comment section below for me because I would love to try them. One of my subscribers, uh, in my last video, I was uh, sharing with you all how I struggle with colors, picking out, choosing colors. It's, I know which ones to, not to mix next to each other to make a muddy brown, but I just struggle with choosing colors. And uh, she was telling me about the Color Cube by Sarah Clark. I believe that's her name. And uh, I ordered that thing, and I'm excited to get it. I'm hoping that it really helps me with choosing some colors. And I won't stand there for like 35, 40 minutes trying to pick colors for my piece. <laughs> that will be so much time, you know, I, I can save. And it makes me just a nervous wreck too. <laughs> I, sometimes I have to walk out, count to 10 and go back in. Okay, I was just cleaning up a little bit of my mess there around the flowers. I overfilled a few of them, so I'm just taking my little Q-tip here and getting out some of the resin. And then I'm taking my mica brushes, the little tiny mica brushes, and I'm going in some of those little intricate areas and getting out, just cleaning up around the mold a bit. And I'm going to use my heat gun. I'm just popping some of those surface bubbles here. And then we're going to uh, cover this and let it cure. Okay, I'm back now and our hibiscus flowers have cured. And then I have here um, one of the marabou alcohol inks and this color is Caribbean and what I'm going to I'm heavy handed so I don't want a lot of this to be dropped into the mold I want to add it you know just as much as I want to put in here and I'm afraid that if I take that bottle and hold it over I'm going to squeeze way too much in here so that's why I put some in this little cup right here now I'm going to hold my hand over our hummingbird and I'm going to spritz some alcohol around the mold as best I can before we drop our resin in. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and pour this uh, clear resin into our mold. And I'm not filling the mold up. All I want is to get the surface here. And what we're doing here is we're, um, I want it to look like... Um, like the sky 
like the bird is flying in the sky. So the blue is going to be the sky. And then we're going to go in behind this and put a white behind it after this cures. So right now we're going to make the blue sky. And we also need to pay close attention to our hummingbird throwing off some of that chameleon powder dust. And I'll show you in a minute how we're going to tackle that little bit. <laughs> because that hummingbird is going to throw some of that powder out at us into our resin. So I'm going to use my heat gun. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold that heat onto the, uh, the wings and the little intricate areas into our bird because the bubbles sit in there. You all know that when there's um, any kind of uh, scene that is down in a mold, the uh, bubbles will try to hang on to all of the little um, the lines in whatever design is down in the mold. The bubbles will try to sit in that design in some areas. So I'm taking my heat gun and I'm letting it set on there until it pops each of those bubbles. And I'm not leaving it in one area for too long. I'm moving my heat around. And what that did was disturb some of the mica powder dust that's in our bird. Now you see me take this popsicle stick. It, when I run that popsicle stick on the surface, it picks up any of that dust that's left behind. So I'm just cleaning up the dust right now. Okay, now I've cleaned up all the dust out of there. And then we're going to take this blue Caribbean and drop it into the mold. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time until I'm satisfied with the color. I would rather do it this way than drop too much in there. I'm going to add a little bit more to the cup here because I'm not real satisfied with the color. And we're going to have to do this video in two different uh, stages, you guys, because we're not going to be able to finish this piece up in this video. So where we're going to have to stop at is demolding uh, our pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and stop there and then we'll pick up tomorrow. I mean, this video is already almost pushing 30 minutes. So, um, we're going to have to divide it up into two. Okay, now here I've got my blue skies exactly the way I want it. Um, I'm just going to add some resin to this cup here. It's about, probably about uh, 40 milliliters. And I'm going to shake up my cast and craft white right here. And we're going to drop in that white behind our blue skies and hope for the best. <laughs> I am super happy about not getting any of the um, any of the chameleon powders that seeped out of our bird, you know, into our piece. I did dip out all of the excess powder that slipped out of our bird. And I was extra careful making sure I kept an eye on it. And uh, I don't see where any of it affected our piece. So I'm excited about that. Now if we can get everything else to work out, it'll be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> but we don't get to choose that, do we? You never know how your piece is going to come out. You never know what you're going to get. But whether it's beautiful or ugly, I'm going to share it with you all because I'm not perfect. <laughs> and you will see my flaws and all. Okay, I'm going to spritz the alcohol, my mold with some alcohol. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in that white.
And if you don't stir up this, um, this casting craft white right here really good, it'll leave, um, like strings of paint in your piece. So if you use this, you have to be really careful and see, I had a little bit of it left on my popsicle stick and it left a little bit of strand through my piece. So I'm just taking it and blending it in with the rest. You just have to be real, usually I'll change the popsicle sticks out when I'm using this. So I'm going to go ahead and use my heat gun and pop some of those surface bubbles. Heat up that resin a little bit. Spritz it with some alcohol. And then I'm going to cover it. Okay, now we're back and it's time to demold. I had to throw in that little section where we was putting in some of the uh, excess resin that I had used into our hands for our giveaway. Okay, here's one of our little hummingbirds. Now we're going to outline the uh, hummingbird in black. So we're still not done with them. And, uh, I'm going to put it on here and show you what it looks like. I think he turned out pretty. And they'll look, they're going to look um, a little bit better than this when we outline them in black too. And here's the little gold one. He turned out cute. And here's our little green one. I love this uh, green intense chameleon powder. It's beautiful. So what do you think about our little green friend here? Is he beautiful? Okay, now let's get to our main piece here and see what it looks like. I'm so excited to demold this piece, you all. I hope and hope and pray that our clouds, our blue sky looks decent. Well, my friends, I think this is a great stopping point for our video. Uh, we will pick up right where we left off tomorrow. So wherever we're stopping at now is exactly where we'll pick, off, pick up off tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's always so much fun. And I will see you in the next video to finish this piece up. God bless you. Bye-bye, my friends.